What's up everyone, Dablade here with a very quick tip video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to perform the perfect wake-up attack with the Longsword's Sacred Sheath combo. Now, first of all, what is a wake-up attack? Well, a wake-up attack is when a monster is asleep, either through being wounded and in a fight too long, or if you've managed to put them to sleep via the poison ailment. Obviously, a sleeping monster doesn't attack back, it's sleeping. But when facing a sleeping monster, hunters have a unique advantage, as whenever a hit lands on a sleeping monster, the damage is doubled. So if you can hit a monster with an incredibly hard hit and attack, you can deal a massive chunk of damage in a single hit. Traditionally, slower, harder hitting weapons, such as the greatsword or wyvern ammo from the heavy bowgun are best suited for this, but other weapons can definitely inflict some heavy damage. And that is definitely the case when it comes to the longsword's new sacred sheave combo. So first of all, a reminder, the sacred sheave combo is a new ability. It replaces the special sheave where you sheave your weapon and then holding down ZR, R2 or RT, depending on what system you're using, you will charge up the sacred sheave combo. This will also consume your spirit gauge up to three times and once you release it, it allows you to perform a very hard hitting combo to which the last hit will hit incredibly hard. And this is what we want to use to wake up monsters as this will allow us to comfortably hit for four figure digits. So in this video, we're primarily going to show you the positioning you need to be in to actually land this last hit. So when the monster is asleep and you have the red spirit gauge, Go up to the monster body part you want to hit, say the head is probably the weakest, although other monsters have other weak parts. Perform a draw attack away from the monster, which is a step slash, then a thrust, rise and slash, thrust, rise and slash, and then go into the sacred sheath combo. Let this charge up three times, and then hold towards whatever monster body part you want to attack, and then release. If you perform this correctly, the last hit of the sacred sheath combo should hit the monster, and you're going to see some very large damage numbers. I will say that you need to perform these attacks quite quickly to get yourself into the correct position away from the monster, as if you perform it slowly, you won't move as far, and the second hit of the Sacred Sheave combo can potentially hit a monster instead, which will still hit hard, but it will deal less damage. Another side tip as well, if you are running the Sakura Slash and the monster is asleep, Use the Sakura Slash on a few little monsters close by just to get you up to that red spirit gauge before you wake up the monster. Remember you can also use barrel bombs when it comes to waking up monsters, but the first hit that actually wakes up the monster has to be from the longsword itself, otherwise you're going to waste that chance to deal massive damage. So there we have it, that is how you wake up monsters with the Sacred Sheave combo in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Hope it comes in handy, and until next time, I've been Darkblade. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.